Good morning. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's not even quarter to 10 yet. But I've been up since a while, like maybe even four this morning. And um, I'm ready to roll, but I need my cat. Just a sec. Let me see if I got it down here. Oh, yeah. Got to keep my head warm. <laughs> So I've been making root vegetables and I've got a bunch done and it smells wonderful in here. But I just thought I'd show you what I've been up to here. I've been chopping and I've got a bunch of root vegetables in here. So there's, oh, uh, well, let me get my book. So I remember all the root vegetables that are in here. There's onion, Yukon gold potatoes, sweet potato, turnip, rutabaga, parsnip, celery root, never had celery root, beets, Italian seasoning, rosemary, and garlic. So they put time in, but I don't have time, so I just put in rosemary and garlic. And they put in... Um, where did I get this? This is um, prevent and reverse heart disease. So page 188. And I love roots. So, but some of these I've never had before. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to try. So I'm just cutting up the garlic down here. And then um, I went out in the garden and I picked some rosemary. So I got some rosemary. And then I just used my Italian seasoning blend. And the Italian seasoning blend has, um, has oregano, marjoram, thyme, basil, and parsley flakes. So I figured that'll be the thyme and then some. Gina! Hi, Gina! Hey, I've been up since who knows when, like four this morning. So I'm, I've done my workout already and um, we made breakfast and I already cooked a bunch of root vegetables so I can show you what this looks like when it's done because it has to cook for an hour. So, and I'll show you all the, I was, I just named off everything I put in there, but there's, I've got celery root in there, which I've never had before. Um, there's rutabaga and turnip, which I haven't had in ages. And there's parsnip, which I love. And um, potato, both sweet potato and Yukon gold potato. And um, a large onion. And then they put in minced garlic. So I'm going ahead and cutting up some garlic to put in. And uh, I went out to the garden, got rosemary. So fresh rosemary, and then the Italian seasonings. So go ahead and add this and put them in a casserole dish and stick them in the oven. In fact, I should turn my breville on. Get things heating up here. Who else is here? Hi, Mary. Oh, you're chopping veggies for the chili? Oh, it's so good, Mary. I can't wait till I can eat it again today. It's so yummy. This morning I had a bowl of vegetables and then I had a uh, Yukon Gold with a bowl of vegetables. Just a small one. I don't have any of the big ones. I get my, or not a Yukon Gold, a um, Hama Hama. I get them at my the Asian store and they're just little, but they're so good. <laughs> Gina, oh my gosh, early girl, early bird, laugh out loud, going to start exercise soon. All right. Still resting from big day yesterday with Jennifer. Yeah, that was quite a, quite a day you had. Here's all my roots, celery root, rutabaga, um, parsnip, turnip, sweet potato, yellow potatoes, man, just, just full roots. I just thought I gotta make that. So I've got a casserole dish here and I'm just going to toss everything into that yeah just fills it up 
Look at that. <laughs> and then I'm going to sprinkle all these spices over it. So here's my, oh, here's my garlic. Built some there. And then my rosemary. And it says just a teaspoon at a time, but I'm going to have more than that. So this is a half a tablespoon. You know, I like to sprinkle all over the. Okay, now I do have potato to add to it, but I've already cooked all my yellow potatoes, so I figure I'll just put it in the last half. So it says to cover it with foil, but I don't want to cover it with foil. So the dish comes with a little lid here. So I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to dust that off. It looks dusty. So let me, I'll stick this in and then I'll, I'll get it out. So there we go. I also have two plantains I'm going to cook today. They look like they're about ready to go. So, I'm going to put this in. that I've already made. I moved my workstation because Stephen was going to come and work in the kitchen, but he's going to wait till I'm done because, of course, he has to make a bunch of noise. Wow, I have 40 videos in my library? you got to be kidding me. That's crazy. <laughs> I enjoy doing it so much, and, you know, you just do it do a day or a couple times a week and yeah it must add up i wonder when i started so do this so i can show you what we've done here so here is what i've already done look at that huh does that look good or what Try to get this so I can lift that up. And that looked good. Oh, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> so that's the first time I, I think, that I've actually had it to where I can show you what it looks like once I've got it done. So we'll have that for lunch today. <laughs> All right. So. This over here. And also, show you what else I've got here. Papaya. So who's in papaya? Anybody else have papaya? See, I'm going to cut this baby up. I don't know exactly. Well, I'm going to wash this knife. Because if there's onion on it, it'll make the papaya taste like onion. Hey, Nelson Campbell, you know, T. Colin Campbell's son, um, he's just released his new documentary, From Food to Freedom, and they take 10 people and immerse them in plant, whole food plant 
uh, meals for a week and they, they live in and, um, and then they take their blood work before, and then they take their blood work in 10 days and they interview them during the 10 days. And when they start, they're just, they're, you know, fat, sick, and nearly dead kind of thing. And at, by the end, they're just so happy. And then they go out, they go back to where they live, which is North Carolina, um, Iowa, places that are just so, so rampant with uh, fast food and meat. And they couldn't, they couldn't stay the course. I mean, it's just, it's just heartbreaking because, you know, some of them were almost completely off their meds and completely off their meds and they're back on them again. And they just can't do it because of the pleasure trap, you know, we're all so addicted. So I just wish there was some way we could help. I mean, we are helping. I mean, this is to help, <laughs> but, oh, oh, you know, and their families are dying all around them from, from diabetes and, and um, heart attacks and, Oh, it's just so sad. We're so lucky that we found this and that we've got each other. I mean, I really think you can't just immerse it for 10 days. You've got to have a community. You've got to have other people around you that are doing this so that you don't feel alone and you can shop together and you can cook together and you can, you know, talk to each other and support each other, especially like, you know, when it's in the house, like if one spouse wants to do it and another spouse doesn't, that just really, I think, would help. I was hoping Rosemary would join us today from North Ireland because it was early enough that it'd be, I don't know what time it would be in Ireland right now. But so Gina, when you buy a papaya and wait for it to ripen, it doesn't seem to taste good. Oh, the outside of the papaya, this one even could be, we could have waited a little bit more, but you, you know, when they start looking like the, um, the outside is decomposing, getting, you know, soft marks on it, we get them then and we cut them right away and they're delicious. This one, you know, some, of, I mean, you can see a little bit of the color, but, but it'd be nice to have more color. So, and we knew it when we bought it, we weren't sure if we should buy it, but we just went ahead and did it. And I just use a carrot peeler take the skin off. Pleasure trap is such a real thing. No messing around. Yes. Yeah. Couldn't do without our community. Oh, sorry. How's that? See this one, it was just starting to look like it was decomposing, not decomposing, but you know, they have to be really ripe. You're right. So to peel that skin, I just use a regular peeler and just take it right off. It just comes right off. It's great. When we were in India, we used to buy a papaya at a cart. Oh man, were those ever good. He had a, he'd had the, you know, the market guys, the, the papaya guy, he had, he'd have a cart just just brimming with papaya. <laughs> so anyways, that documentary, I think it's uh, maybe an hour and a half long or maybe, maybe not, maybe it's just an hour, but anyways, it was really good. I was glued to it. And I, I want to watch it again because I got busy doing stuff at the end of it. And uh, you know, it's hard to sit there and watch people suffering so much. Gosh, I'm so lucky. And I know what it's like because um, previously, you know, before Stephen got on board with me, other things that I'd try, he didn't want to do it and he'd miss that we weren't going out to dinner. And now he's he's with me all the way and it's made such a difference. I can't imagine eating any other way. I'd love to show that documentary at the pod meeting or my pod potluck on the 19th. I'm going to have to ask him. Oh yeah. I went to India. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I retired in 2011 and we wanted to do volunteer work and we ended up volunteering for this group in Portugal and we were building a retreat center there. And then they went to India 
So we went with them because they'd all been before. And they knew the ropes and it was, it was really a great way to do it. And uh, we loved it. And we took a trip into the Himalayas after the retreat was over in India. And uh, we had a driver and he took very good care of us. So we got to see the Himalayas too. So we went to Portugal and India. We've been all over. You know what? For my work, when I taught other physical therapists, we had international conferences. And so every other year, we'd go to a, an international country. So we got, I've been to Maastricht, Netherlands, and Rome, Italy, and the island of Crete, and Greece, and uh, Rio de Janeiro, and Brazil. Ottawa and Canada. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else. So I used to love to travel, but I really, it really, my health suffered. And airplanes are, if anything, they're getting even more difficult to tolerate. They smell and they keep wanting to cut down on our space. When we flew over to Brisbane this year. It was a 15 hour flight and we went Qantas airline and they, um, there was no leg space. My light didn't work. They split Stephen and I up and we each had middle seats, one, one behind the other. So we couldn't even sit with each other for 15 hours. And it was just awful. And I know it didn't have to be that way because the flight back was beautiful. You know, there's plenty of room and everything worked. So went to India. Oh, what a dream trip. Oh, yes, it was it was pretty cool. So get some things to put these the papaya in. And I think they do better in glass. I don't know what you guys use. Did you get a spatula here? See if I can get it in here this way. So what's everybody doing today? I think we're going to be out in the garden. We were out for a walk yesterday and Stephen noticed another shredder truck or a chipper truck. I wouldn't even have, you know, thought of it. And, uh, but once he, once he saw it, I was like, oh shoot. And I, you know, went and found the guy or actually there was a guy out there first that we asked if they had any chips for us. And, and he said, there are some chips in the back there. And he went and got his boss and boss came up and he said, hey, we just live down the street. Do you want to dump your chips at our place? He said, sure. So I, he came and dumped them. And thank goodness we had just, a, you know, we would over half of the pile from the other day. We've already spread around the gardens. So he just dumped his right on top of the what was left. So we got another pile to spread today. So I figured I'd get the cooking done early today. So I can spend all afternoon, you know, it'll warm up. It'll be a lot nicer and we'll get out there. Karen Gaylor. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Being lazy was a late, la late, last, late night last night. What'd you do? Looks so good. I'm going to give papaya another try. They, you know, that's the thing, Gina, when you get a good one, they're so good. But when you get a lousy one, I can see why it turns you off, but. Just get them when they're really, really ripe. This one's, this, I think this one's going to be okay. I'd try it, but I just brushed my teeth, so I, I don't want to. Papaya or, you know, any fruit after you brush your teeth isn't going to work. I got to get some fluoride-free toothpaste. Does anybody have any recommendations? I want to see if it makes a difference with my biome because uh, it might prevent cavities, but it sure supposedly wrecks your microbiome to have fluoride. 
So I think I guess even Dr. Greger has changed his tune on it. I wonder how Jessie's doing. I haven't seen her for a while. The unripe ones remind me of digestive juices. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you got a point. Hi, Mary. Tom's toothpaste. Really? Do you use that and you like it? I'm going to order some. I've seen Tom's, actually. I didn't realize his was fluoride free. So, probably says it in big letters on the front of it, but I just never, you know, I didn't really think about fluoride. I mean, all the things that I, we get, that we have no idea are detrimental to our health. Jeez. It's just crazy. I just, boy, it's kind of hard to comprehend, but. It's got to be up to us. We got to take responsibility. And boy, I'll tell you. I mean, I don't have kids, but. Now I think I'm old enough to have kids where I can at least educate them and let them make their own decisions based on a little bit of knowledge whereas we we've, we've really not had any i guess because nobody you know not we just didn't know it just happened i guess i guess we're evolving There's a lot of papaya. I might have to, I've got a whole other half. So I might have to freeze some of this because I don't know if we're going to be able to eat it fast enough. Whoop. That's got a little skin on it. Karen, or. Tuesday night, Rise with John group has been rewatching the Truth About Weight Loss Summit by each presenter. Oh, wow. And then discussing and last night went to midnight. Wow. Hi, Annette. How you doing? Oh, Walmart, Mary. Okay, I'll go see if I can get some at Walmart. Our Walmart's pretty lousy. I mean, I stopped there to get some some decent cornmeal and all they had was cornmeal with, with a bunch of crap in it. And I said, haven't you heard that you're the second most... Um, popular place or you, you, you have the second highest quantity of organic food. And I said, how come this Walmart doesn't? <laughs> she says it all has to do with supplier and who wants it and stuff like that. So I found out that one of the doctors at Kaiser, where I've got insurance, is plant-based. So I called to to try to get an appointment with her, and um, I couldn't even get one. <laughs> they said, call back in a week. I'm going to keep trying. Hello, toothpaste. Oh. I'll, I'll look at both of those. I need to write that down. Hello and Tom's. Uh, toothpaste. Okay, so I got a whole nother half here. I need a spoon to get those seeds out. So I just love that these seeds are so easy to get out. Somebody sent me another weekend thing going on this weekend about food. So I'll check in and, and see if they're on the right track. Hopefully so. I'm always concerned that they'll try to do push the keto thing on people. kids version is much better oh cool oh good Annette 
Ah, this is the only papaya they offer at our, our sprouts. So this is what we get. So for those of you who, who come since I, I finished, I'll show you my, my root vegetables. This is what I made this morning. Got all kinds of root vegetables in it. And um, so this one I cooked before I went on. And then I, I put one together and that's in the oven right now cooking. Oh, Karen, so your neighborhood Walmart has more organic and vegan options than the big one by me. That's cool. Huh. Yeah, I've never heard of a Samba papaya, Annette. I don't know if this one has a special name. Our sprouts is pretty straightforward. Most of the people that work in it are overweight. And so, you know, like the... The ham, hamma hamma yams, they just call them white sweet potatoes. But they charge too much for them. I get them at the Asia store for Asia Asian store for buck twenty-nine. And the sprout sells them for buck ninety-nine a pound. So I just make a stop. It only takes a second. And the Asian store has all kinds of cool things like Chinese eggplant and daikon and whole packages of mint rather than just those little tiny plastic things you know those little plastic packages of herbs and um let's see what else do i get there japanese sweet potatoes that are delicious um uh, jicama i got a nice sweet one this time so disappointed when you get a jicama and it's not sweet but i just eat it as a snack when I get a good one, I can't resist it. And they're so good raw in the salads. I just like it raw. I don't even cook it. I don't know if this peeler is getting old. Oops. I'm tossing right on the floor, honey. Uh, track it in. Look at how you're tracking your your shoes. I can't get any fucking thing done around here. Honey, I'm on. I'm I, on. I, I know, but you're, you're criticizing me. YouTube is uh, it's going to cut us off. I can't get it. Stevie's upset. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's look it's like that. So many different types of papaya. Hawaiian sunrise papaya. Thanks, Annette. You're a papaya specialist. I do love Asian and Indian stores. I wish we had an Indian store over here. More vegan whole food people that live close to the neighborhood market and Walmart seems to cater to that crowd. Yeah. Cool. That's great. I mean, that's a smart thing to do, Karen. Cater to the to your local neighborhood. So this is all I'm doing, really is cutting this papaya and then I'm going to go outside and that the root vegetables they still got a oh uh oh they still got an hour to go and they only get an hour so I guess I've I've got them cooking longer than I'm supposed to I think I need to take 20 minutes off <laughs> so I, for some reason I'm thinking I had it set at an hour 20 it's so easy with that Breville, you know, on the dial to up the, the time and and make it longer than 
it's supposed to. So if you guys get on the Plant Pure Communities website, you could watch that documentary that's just come out by Nelson Campbell. It's called From Food to Freedom. You can watch the, the trailer on YouTube. I just posted it to my pod, Annette, if you want to watch the trailer. But I wasn't sure how to put the actual movie on the, on the, the uh, Facebook page of the pod. But... It's good. The only thing is, is it's sad because everybody can't keep it up because of the darn pleasure trap. We need to warn people on a large scale. I keep dropping this pie is over the edge here. Three more, and actually, I can just cut these and we can get going. So I'm sure you guys have other things you want to do today. So I booked this tour, or I, you know, I, I posted a tour and invited, there's 49 people, but I closed the tour to um to eight of us because it gets much more than that i i can't keep track of everybody and um there's more people that want to do it so now what do i do do i let them come and then i'm stressed out the whole time i don't know i gotta think about it but so the first tour will be next, uh, well, we, we go over to Wenatchee that's east of the Cascade Mountain Range, um, April 30th, and then we'll start the tour, tour on May 1st. <laughs> yeah, the three-second rule for dropping the papaya. Good point, Annette. That's what I, that's what I do. <laughs> Gina, the Breville, I don't know. You know, it's been so long since I've cooked a big oven. I don't know which one cooks faster, but I suppose it would make sense because the gravel can get heated up a lot easier than a big oven. And I'm so grateful I don't have a big oven. There's such a pain to clean. <laughs> it's nice not having to worry about it. And the gravel does everything, you know, so. So I'm gonna freeze some of this papaya. That way we, you know, we don't feel like we have to overeat it just to finish it. Just, you know, we hate to waste anything. Yes, I love my Breville. Who said that? No, not good for you to be stressed. You did all the work. They will be okay. Thanks, Gina. <laughs> you got to be quick. You know, some people just wrote and said, well, maybe. It's like, okay. But then... My core group, they said, we're, we want to go. So, away we will go. And uh, I've done this ride a couple times. So, it's going to, I know, I know what kind of a ride it is. It's, it's beautiful over there in the Anachi. You know, it's high desert. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Actually, it's not, well, is it high? I mean, we're, we're right on the Columbia River out there. So, 
So I don't know. I got three more. Should I do them? Papaya and ice cream, Annette. Really? Have you tried that? Hmm. I will have to try that. I like that idea. How about a papaya creamy? Maybe I could mix a little uh, plant milk in with the papaya, blend it up, and stick it in the creamy. Or I could mix, I'll, I'll see how sweet this one is, and I can mix it with, you know, some sweet pineapple or even banana and stick it in the creamy. Because, you know, when I try to do it in my, uh, my Vitamix, it just seems like the Vitamix struggles so hard. It's got to be, got to be hard on it. Okay, the last one to peel. And we are solid gold. So I wonder how our Jennifer's doing this morning on her True North Juice Fast. It was so fun yesterday, Gina, hanging out with you two. Can't wait to get my cap. Okay. Oops. So here we go. Last one. And then I'm going to have to go out and give Stevie hugs. And <laughs> Poor guy. I actually, I moved out of the kitchen to be out of his way, but then he decided to be too noisy, but apparently things aren't going well in his shop and he gets so flustered, but he always comes back and says, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's, he's a sweet man. Very sweet. Every once in a while, we blow our cool, huh? We get all stressed out. Flip out on something. All right. So we got all kinds of stuff. I was cooking like a crazy person yesterday. We got sweet potatoes and yellow potatoes. And um, we got the chili and, oh, I'm behind papaya and ice cream. Three more papaya? Wow. Well, no, three more slices of the one papaya that we got. Yeah. Or mixed with a little Hannah. Yeah, good idea. I've never tried it. What cap? Uh-oh. Did you talk about caps? Or did I talk about caps? I don't see anything about caps. Sorry, Annette. I don't see it. Tell me more. Oh, yeah. Uh, a true north cap. You know, a, a, a baseball cap with true north on it. <laughs> I got my t-shirt. Yeah. My true north cap, yes. See, my birthday is in two weeks. So Gina and I got um, Jennifer stuff for her birthday. And then uh, she and Gina both got caps. And they said, what do you want for your birthday? I said, well, get me a cap. So I have a cap too. So we'll all have our true north caps. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Okay, well, let me let me wash my hands off. So yesterday, I got the cranberry dressing made, and it was really delicious. And, oh, Gina, you've got the cap. Oh, sure, you could send it early. Sure. I don't want you to forget to send it, you know, so better early than, than you get busy doing other things and it doesn't come. I mean, you know, two weeks, it'll be here before it's two weeks from today. So 
if you send it next week, you know, it'll be here a week early and then I can wear it on my birthday. <laughs> they don't have the clothes on their website, Gina. Hmm. Bummer. I love my purple shirt. <laughs> oh, you'd never forget me. Thank you. <laughs> Well, okay. I think that's all I'm doing today. I'm gonna cook these. Um, I'm gonna cook these plantains for lunch, and I just stick them in the the breville for 10-15 minutes. And uh, once the once the outer skin starts to break open, and it, I mean even the a good plantain will start to bulge out. Uh, that's when I know they're done. And so if they don't, if it doesn't split, I'll just keep cooking it until it does. So this one's, of course, a little bit riper, but I think they're both ready. They're both yellow. They're not green anymore. So I'll give it a try. I've been getting a couple plantains every week. And typically one is real sweet and the other one is starchy. But I like them both. So I'm going to put that in once my, my vegetables are done. They got another 27 minutes, so I'm not going to make you wait. So that's it for today, guys. <laughs> so there's nothing else. Let's head on to our day. And um, I'll see you next time. It's good to talk to you. Thanks so much for checking in. <laughs> good to see you, Annette. The plantain, you just stick them in the brittle for 10, 15 minutes until the skin splits at like 400 degrees and some some of them take a little bit longer than that so you can actually hear them when they pop and then you'll look and the, the skin split open and then oh i just slice it up and put it in my salad or or usually i just put them in my salad i i i think they're really good with the other vegetables so they add a little sweetness but some of them are you know they're kind of starchy sweet <laughs> So I don't know. I might see, well, actually about 11 was, we usually do our walk. So is AJ on at 11 today, but maybe, you know, I can listen in, but I, I don't, I'm not able to write anything. So, but next time I cook, I'll come up with something soon. I'm sure the weekend's coming. So, oh yeah, definitely Karen, try and the, just as black and yellow as you can. Who's she talking to today, Gina? What's her 11 o'clock? And then uh, uh, Jonathan might be in around two. So he had a, a business meeting yesterday, so he couldn't be online. Oh, Dr. Nikki Davis. I love her. That'll be fun. All right. See you guys later. Have a good day. <laughs>